In this video we're going to install the latest version of Moodle on a Windows computer or laptop using something known as Git. Git is a method whereby programmers and developers can easily share their latest bug fixes or new creations amongst each other and regularly download the latest versions for them to check out. Now it is useful if you are a less technical user of Moodle to have your own version of Moodle on your laptop or computer known as localhost just to try things out but if you're only going to do that once and you don't want to have the latest versions every single week or regularly then the best option for you if you're using Windows is to go to Moodle.org and download the all-in-one Windows installer but we're going to use Git to get Moodle because it lets us very easily and quickly get the most up-to-date versions anytime we need now, if you were to ask five Git users what was the best way of installing Moodle using Git, using Windows, they'd give you five different answers. They'd all be correct, but you would get very confused, as I did. So, in this video, I'm going to show you one single way. It might not be the best or the quickest or the most correct way, but it has worked for me, and I hope it does for you too. So, what do we need? Somewhere to house our Moodle, on our laptop and the database to get it functioning to connect to it and of course all of the files the Moodle files so first of all we're going to sort out the house for it and we're going to go to Google and download something called WAMP server which will do the job for us and let us create a database for our Moodle I'm going to pick this one here if you choose the same one as me but what happened when I clicked was that it told me that I had to install something else on my Windows laptop first Visual C++ etc etc so just do what they say click there and install that first of all and then you can come back to the WAMP website and download the WAMP server so here we are we've got that downloaded that did take quite a while now we're going to click on it again and click to download it directly I suspect that you will probably have the 64 bits one the same as me if your Windows laptop is reasonably up to date. My instructions are in French, but that doesn't matter. Yours will probably be in English. So we download it, we save it, and then we run it. And it's very important to remember exactly where it is that our WAMP server has decided to save itself on our Windows computer or laptop. And if there is anything that you're not sure of, yeah, I'm just making sure I remember where it is, in the C drive in a folder called WAMP. Anything that you're not sure of, just leave it as the default. I'm going to create uh, an icon there at the bottom in my taskbar. I'm just going to leave that as it is and now it's going to set itself up. You might get Windows Firewall wanting to block it so make sure that you allow it to access it because it's perfectly safe. And we're done. Now if you see here at the bottom of my screen I've got a green W. If I go up, if I click it and go up to PHP my admin, I come to the database and I'm going to make a new database for the Moodle. So I click database and then in create database I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it Moodle for the sake of a name. Collation, it doesn't matter if you don't know what it means, but just make sure that it is selected as UTF-8 General CI. Then I'm going to click Create, I've made the database, and I'm going to click Edit Privileges and show you how you can add a new user. I'm going to add myself as a complete total administrator of this Moodle database. I click Add User. Whatever name I choose, and it doesn't matter, but whatever name I choose, I have to remember for later on when I install Moodle. Localhost means it's not online, it's on my laptop. I choose a password and then the password I have to remember that as well for later when I'm setting up Moodle. I want to scroll down 
and all of the privileges that it allows I'm going to give them to me all of them because I'm in total control click add user and I have a database called Moodle I've remembered my name and my password now we just need to go and get all the files from Git the method I'm going to use here is I'm going to go online to windows.github.com where there's a big green button and I'm going to click to download that to my laptop it will take some time it took me quite a while you don't have to have an account this is a free download and you can get Moodle using this without having an account but if you do have an account that will enable you to use the more advanced features to uh, get different versions and to share and so on but that's much more advanced we're just going to basically download this so that we have it on our laptop which will enable us to connect and to bring the Moodle files in this manner remember the cat at least I think it's a cat icon there because we're going to be using him in a short while to get Moodle one final thing then if you remember when we installed the WAMP server it was in C drive in a folder called WAMP if I click into that folder or directory there's one that's called www that is where Moodle will actually go once we've got it but all of the data that Moodle uses the files the assignments they have to go outside of that in a folder called Moodle data so I'm making a new folder and I'm calling it Moodle data uh, that's ready for when we set up Moodle so now we can go back to our git pet creature and click on it and then we're going to get the rather formidable black box into which we need to type the code to get Moodle it already thinks it knows where it wants me to put Moodle but I don't want it there so I'm going to type CD that just means change directory and then trying to get it absolutely correctly spelt I'm going to tell it to put Moodle into my C drive WAMP www and then the code that I need depends on what version of Moodle you want um, I'm just going for this video to get Moodle 2.3 and so I'm typing exactly as it says here and I'll try to highlight it this exactly it's actually going to get me all of Moodle and then it's just going to give me Moodle 2.3 which is where we are at the time of this video so that is what I type it should put that into the directory that I specified and I know that it's working because now a whole load of information is coming and we will see a progress in percentages up to a hundred percent then there will be more and then there will be more and it will take quite some time so let's just leave it for a while and then come back to it when everything is done and here we are it says checking out files hundred percent done and I now have Moodle in a Moodle folder in www in my WAMP directory so I'm going to my browser and I'm typing in localhost Moodle to set the ball rolling to start installing it and when I click enter I'm going to be taken through several pages of installation once I've chosen my language very importantly we have to make sure that it knows where everything is going the paths so the Moodle directory that's been made that's correct I made the Moodle data directory if you remember in the WAMP folder but outside the WW folder so that's also correct so we click next this is correct so we click next again and this is where we have to remember the name that we gave ourselves in the database and also the password that we gave and once we enter them and we click next we're asked to agree to the terms and conditions click continue and then it's going to check that we've got all of the what they call extensions or bits of PHP that we need for Moodle the ones in green are fine the ones in yellow are sort of okay and the ones in red it won't work unless we have them enabled now if you look at the bottom right you can see a little green W which is where my WAMP server is and if I click there and if I magnify it I'll show you the way that you can go and you can just enable these from there 
to get your Moodle working. So if I click it and then go to PHP, PHP extensions, and then I basically tick or check all of the extensions that were yellow or red. Um, and then when I go back, it should be okay. What I found was that I had difficulty with the one called curl, C-U-R-L, that was in red. And if you have the same difficulty, come and ask on the Moodle forums and I can show you how you can make sure that that works. But if you see at the bottom now, it says your server meets all the minimum requirements. So we press continue and then it will start installing everything. This will take quite some time. So we'll come back in a short while as we get towards the end of installing all the tables. And here we are. Success in green means it's going to work. We click continue. And the next thing that we're asked to do is to set the admin's details, username, password. Worth remembering so you can log into your own Moodle. Then we're going to set the name of the front page of the Moodle its full site name and its short name and a few other default settings and then once we scroll down and once we've done all of that and saved we've got a Moodle localhost Moodle so how do we keep it up to date every Thursday we can get an updated version and the point of using git was that it was really easy to do this so I click on my pet git creature and we get the formidable black box again we need to make sure we have the right path to our Moodle folder mine isn't so I'm doing CD change directory typing exactly where the Moodle folder is and then I'm um, you see it knows which version of Moodle it is I'm going to type git pull that will simply bring from Moodle online the latest updated files into my Moodle site. Mine says it's already up to date because I'm showing you this only 10 minutes after I made the Moodle on my laptop but if I were to do it next week then it would bring me the latest version of Moodle and it's that simple.